Hi, my name's Bob Dickerson. I'm pastor of the First Baptist Church of Marion, Illinois, and I'm here with Pastor David Craig of the Life Church in Sykeston, Missouri. And he's the author of many books. He has a new book entitled, Why Should I Speak in Tongues? But today we're here to talk about a unique way uh, to bring heightened awareness of the love of God on a Good Friday. Pastor Craig, tell us a little bit about your Carry the Cross movement and what is it? Carry the Cross movement is just that. It's a movement. It's not about me. It's not about any individual except Jesus Christ. So what we do on Good Friday, as well as in parades, but especially on Good Friday, we stand with crosses made out of two inch PVC pipe that are white. They're easy to see on the road, so nobody can mistake who you are, or what you're doing. They're 10 feet tall and five feet wide. They're very light, so women can stand with them. People that are wheelchair bound can sit there and hold them. And we just, along the highway, and we're off in a safe place. I don't mean we're up against the highway. We're all along the thoroughfare. We just wave and we just tell people, Jesus loves you. We try to look right into the eyes of the oncoming motorist or if it's a street of the oncoming pedestrian. And what happens is, is whenever that person Whenever that person sees us do that, guess what they do? They go, hey, man, Jesus loves you too. They wave back. So the recognition level really goes up. We do it on, particularly on Good Friday for this reason is all of the pastors, all of the churches are already talking about the death, burial, and the resurrection of the Lord. So we're just taking advantage of a great opportunity where they've already opened up the atmosphere for us to come in and preach and teach the truth by simple message. All of the crosses look the same. We don't decorate them, paint them, hang anything on them. We want people to be touched by that simple message, Jesus Christ. And by the grace of God, after the many centuries, the cross is recognized as this Christian symbol around the world. I've never heard anybody look at a cross and say, is that Muhammad? They've never asked, is that Buddha? Is that Confucius? They always know what it is. They recognize it. So we're just simply taking advantage of the command, go. You know, a lot of people like to think that God said, stay and beg them come. He said, no, go. So we go out into the world and we take that cross out there and we just stand along that highway and we wave at people and we have had some phenomenal testimonies. I've even had people come to me, a couple of pastors, when we're out there, we don't dress in our church paraphernalia. They don't know who we are or anything. Pastors come and say, man, I'm pastor so-and-so. Could you pray for me? And I never tell them I'm a pastor because it's not about me. It's not about our church. It's not about any of us. It's all about Jesus. So I never identify who I am. I just say, yes, sir, I sure will. People have been saved. People have been restored. People have gone back home. One lady went back home after she, she took her children. Now she took her children back to her mother-in-law and said, I'm finished. I'm out. I'm gone. I'm not ever coming back. And after she had driven through about five miles, had seen maybe 20 crosses, maybe seen a little more, she turned around and knelt at a cross. Happened it was a 16-year-old girl holding that cross. Amen. And she didn't have to ask her anything. She said, may I kneel? Mm. Amen. Okay. Woo, she knelt there in that mud. It was a cold, bitter day and rainy that day. She knelt there at that cross recommitted herself to Christ and went back home. Now that's the kind of stuff we're talking about. And I know pastor here would say, if there are times we can't touch people. They're too pain, their, their pain level is too high, but it's that repetition of that same, I love you, 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 Amen. until they go, I can't stand anymore. Amen. I've got to give in. Pastor Craig, you're going to, uh, the Carry the Cross uh, ministry it's going to be doing something on Good Friday this year. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Every Good Friday for the last six years, this will be year number seven, we're going to be doing just what I was talking about. We're going to be standing along Highway 60 and Highway 63 in the state of Missouri. We're endeavoring to form the largest living cross in the world, having one person or more stand with a cross every one quarter of a mile from Illinois to Oklahoma, from Arkansas north to Iowa. That would take about 14 or 50, 1,450 to 1,500 crosses in each direction. So I always say it'll take 3,000 crosses out there. Can you imagine forming the largest living cross in the world over a state can we show a roll in about what we're Absolutely. doing? Absolutely. If, if they, they have that ready, we will show a roll in. It'll show the cross forming from both all the borders coming in and meeting at the same time. If they'll roll that, I'd be blessed.
Join the Carry the Cross movement as God's people unite from 7 to 11 a.m. on Good Friday, March 30th, 2018. Pastor Craig, who can be involved in this movement? Anybody that really has the physical ability to stand along the highway. You know, we don't need children out along the highway. It's a right. very dangerous thing. But anybody, a teenager, an adult that is, you can even be wheelchair bound because we do have wheelchair bound people doing this. You can get involved and you can locate us as you just saw there at www.carrythecross. Now that's C-A-R-R-Y. T H E C R O S S now in O W dot com. Or you can go on to Facebook.com slash carry the cross now and see lots and lots of pictures. All of the information that we have been able to gather over the last six years is in that triple W carry the cross now. In there you can find information about safety, who to contact, who to get involved with, how to pray, how to build crosses, how to do all those things, and you can get a hold of our national director. Aletha Sparkman at 573-380-3535 and she'll help get you plugged in wherever you can go. But pastor, we want anybody that wants to be a witness, anybody, and we're not asking that they are fully committed to Christ. Now that might sound odd to you, but we're just asking anybody that would like to be a witness for Jesus Christ. And what we found is people have gotten saved that were kind of in a you know, yeah. wavering condition, the, the honor of standing there with that cross changed their world and they gave their life back to Christ. Amen. Well, thank you very much, Pastor Craig. Let me just tell you, my father-in-law was saved <laughs> because a fellow by the name of Henry was carrying a cross yeah. down the highway in front yeah. of his uh, little TV shop that he had. Yeah. So yeah. we believe in what Jesus did on the cross for us. Thank you, Pastor Craig, thank for sharing with us. Remember, it is carry the cross. And uh, if you uh, want more information on that, you uh, uh, can check with the station. And they'll let you know. God bless you all, and thank you for watching.